With a four-year waiting list and rising for anyone who wants to visit this precious site, I felt extremely privileged to be able to get a closer look at one of the jewels of the Mediterranean recently. And with a focus particularly on Vanguard Cave this summer, after teams of researchers stumbled upon findings which could well make waves across the globe in terms of their historical significance. Well, here we are at uh, Vanguard Cave, hard hat and all, as you can tell, uh, pretty sturdy, it definitely works. Uh, behind me is uh, one of a couple of sites, actually, where uh, teams of uh, both the local and uh, excavators and archaeologists from abroad have been hard at work all summer. And what they've found, well, we can't quite reveal that. Well, they can't quite reveal that uh, just yet because they need to take it back to the lab. They need to make sure that some experts have dealt with it. But what I'm hearing is very, very exciting findings. And we are going to be hearing from Stuart Finlayson now to tell us a little bit more about what's been going on right here for the past uh, few months. Well, we actually started in May this year, so when we finish the excavations, it'll be four months. Uh, one of the longest excavations we've done in a long time. We've had various uh, student groups, uh, mainly from Liverpool, John Moore's University, Leiden University. But we've also had local students from, from Gibraltar that are studying archaeology, anthropology and so on in UK universities. We've brought them all in uh, and under the supervision from many of our specialists, uh, museum staff members and people from abroad, um, they've been training, getting a lot of experience and we've, we've opened various fronts. I mean, we spent the first couple of months working in Gorham's, We've stopped in Gorham's now because we finished what we were working on, if you like, and we've now brought the resources over to Vanguard Cave. And there's some really interesting things happening here. We've been able to take many different dates from these levels. We've been working in this section uh, behind me and in some other areas. Um, and some really amazing things have been coming through. Um, we've been able to carry on where we've been, you know, um, getting different remains of, of things like deer and ibex. They've been coming through. And yeah, a really good season so far. I saw your, your dad posted on Facebook, Clive Finlayson posted on Facebook saying extremely exciting and, and maybe in, in terms of, they've been working here since 1989, I think. Yeah, I think going back decades, this might be one of the most exciting summers ever. So yeah. watch this space, no? It is a bit of watch this space. Mm. Unfortunately, I can't tell you too much no, right now. I, I hope to be able to soon. But yeah, we've, we've had some really exciting things that have been happening um, within these caves. At the moment, that material is being looked into. There's been various specialists that have come over. They've taken different samples and so on. A lot of the material is now in the museum, in the laboratories, and a different group of people will come in. They'll start analyzing mm. um, what we think we're looking at, and hopefully um, we'll be able to reveal some of that soon. Um, but in science, you have to prove things. Mm. So we're looking at it. We've established what, what those things are. Now it takes analysis, you need to do a lot of work in the laboratory, examine these things, put together the hypothesis, if you like, mm. and uh, different people will have to come in, contribute their speciality work, if you like, and then we'll be in a position to say, yeah, okay, definitively, these things that we're looking at are this, um, and we'll be able to announce it. Mm.